What's up guys, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda 4 Swords Adventures. In the last episode, which was a very long time ago, we did the Ice Temple. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and do the Tower of Winds and save Princess Zelda once and for all. So let's go ahead and do this. This is actually rather long, so it might be split into two just because it is a very, very long tower. It's the final tower in the game. You could say it's the final dungeon right before uh, the you fight Vati, so I guess... That's why they probably made it really wrong. But if you go ahead and kill those two slimes, once you've killed them, ooh, you can pick up some four shams. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. So, we have to collect 2,000, and we need 2,000 to actually be able to uh, break the seal on every level. And so far, we have like 500, so that is good. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, enter into one of these rooms, see what kind of these rooms these are. Uh, you can't push any of those. It's probably one of these right here. Nope, none of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and try the other side. Ow. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Slime. Alright, right there. Okay, sweet. So it looks like here's the first item. That's a boomerang. Huh, surprisingly weird. We can actually push that block. We couldn't push, we couldn't push the other one. So I'm just gonna go back and try to push the other one. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see, this one, nope, that does not work, huh, how do you get in there then? One of these have to work, you can't push, a, whatever, screw that, you know, I'm done with that. There must be a way to be able to get in one of those rooms. Okay, let's see, right here, looks like you need to do the box formation and it just unlock skeletons, yay. Okay, ow, 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 ow. don't hit me, alright, thank you. Looks like we lost a lot of hearts by uh, getting hit by those skeletons. I knew they took that much. Okay, let's see right there. Can we pull this? Let's stand long formation. Looks like you can't. But there is a hole right here. So there's something. Oh, okay. That's how you get in there. And we got the first small key. Yay for us. And there you go. And exit from there. Alright, so I don't really know where to take the small key. But obviously you're going to take a key to a keyhole, so I'm going to look for the keyhole right now. We haven't explored this part of the the, the room, so... Ooh, there it is. Never mind. Enter. And I do apologize if, apologize if I sound a little nasally. Um, I am in fact about to become sick, so... I thought I'd record before I was not able to because of the sickness, which is not good. Because I've been sick like twice in the past two months now, which is not good. Alright, so it actually brought up some ladders here. Uh, it looks like you can't enter in there, so there's like a door where you can only enter. And you can actually see the fire water over there. That is something we're going to get right now. So you have to push these blocks. Um, there's actually a certain way to push them. Alright, so I'm going to just actually move all of these links out of order. And purple rodery will actually push the next one. And then blue... What? Okay, blue link is third. Alright. Back here looks like what is that? I don't know what that is. It's something you can't pull, and then when you click A next to it, nothing happens. So right here, what you're gonna want to do is actually grab one of the links and stand with the colored link over there, and then you can actually switch back to the person that you threw, and then go over here. Then you will find an item which is called the Rock's Feather, and it's a giant feather that lets you take. To the skies and soar, press the A button to jump, press the B button while falling, swoop down. Okay, so you can actually, yeah, do that ground pound thingy, if you want to call it that. You can do that with this, that's why this is one of my favorite items. And you actually need this, or let's actually just go back. Yeah, that is not, oh, never mind, now I know. This game is sometimes rather easy, sometimes the puzzles do get a bit difficult, but... Overall, it's actually a pretty easy game. Alright, so we haven't been in this room. We're actually going to check it out before we leave. There's a chest right here with 100 Force Gems. Now, if I recall, um, this level they do give you about like 3,000 Force Gems. So, it's going to be very hard to not get the 200 Force Gem mark. Just because of how many Force Gems you're going to get. So, I, I don't know, like... Ooh, right here. So I don't know, like, you, you should be able to collect all 2,000 Force Gems. 
and not miss any. So we just traded our Rock's Feather for the Fire Rod, and it looks like we can go back and get the Rock's Feather. So we're technically screwed with this, but we do need uh, the Fire Rod right now, because as you can see, there's actually cubicles or ice cubicles somewhere um, in the next room. So we need this. This is probably the most useful item we can get right now. Right there. Those are the ice cubicles. Awesome. And 147. So before we enter into the next room, I'm just going to melt that. And we can go ahead and enter into the next room. Alright, so there's actually a staircase upwards in this room. Let's see. Ooh, Force Gems. Now these, yep, I knew it. They were going to be fake, but after you hit them, they will give you 100 Force Gems. It will become a real 100 Force Gem, so they're going to be just a mimic. Um, okay, pick that one up. And come on, come here, buddy. Alright, oh crap. Crap, no. Alright, there you go. And one last one, right there. Right, there you go. All 100 in... Or, we got 1.1k. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter upstairs. There's this room right here. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue. I don't think we explored everything else that you could in the previous room, but I guess... We're good enough. Right here, we have to exchange our rock, or our um, fire rod for the rock's feather again. Because we're going to need it. And there's actually another one in that room, which I don't know why, but we fly over there and uh, or jump, not fly, jump and pick up that 104 gem, and they give you another one right here. I don't know why they do that, but okay. And right here we got a blue brace that you feel like you're stronger than steel. Damage is now reduced to half. Awesome. Now this is one of my favorite um, items in this game, just because the damage is reduced to half. Everything that takes half a heart takes a quarter heart now and if there was anything that takes a full heart which I'm sure there is like an enemy it takes half a heart which is good and right here you can just refill hearts well not really but there was four bottles you broke them and there was that you have to do the cross formation and yeah all right so here's a heart container you're stronger and your hearts have been refilled sweet thank you for the heart container okay so right here ooh, wow wow yeah, we're like squished. This thing can't move. Come on, Link. Alright. So there's like thwomp looking thingies. I believe they're thwomps. Um, I honestly don't know what they are, but they look like thwomps to me. Uh, better watch out for those right here. Uh, it looks like you have to do it in a certain way. So it looks like we're going to move this one first, and then set up purple rottery, and then move the green one to whatever direction you're supposed to. Alright, come here. There you go. Alright. Send so information. You can pick up that force fairy. And there are two different paths. You can go the left or the right way. I'm going to take the right one first. And we get another heart container, which is good. The reason for them giving you heart containers is because at the very end you will fight a mini boss. I guess it's just going to be a warm up for you going to, uh, to the next place which is the final level which is level eight um so let's just exit from here now that we've done everything that we could possibly need to do what you're gonna want to do is actually send out all these links i'd recommend just going like this doing the first link just doing them in order instead of having to uh or doing one by one like don't put the first one right here because you might end up like tripping on one of the links and then they might just fall off even though they're in a formation because you can actually push while you're in a formation so yeah i just run around even like that and once you've done that there will be there, there will be a key i'm just gonna grab it and land back on this swamp call all those links you can actually skip that force jam i don't think it's really necessary to wait for it but I'm gonna get it anyways. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so what next? Ooh, actually we forgot to do something. Okay, so I'm gonna Ow! Ow, okay, thank you, thank you, Thwomp. Looks like we have to go all the way back here to get this. And actually I'm just gonna wait for that Thwomp to levitate all the way up. Okay, there you go. So let's enter into this room with the, and use this key, because this is the only place you can enter with that key. And then, that'll happen, set on that, and then there will be skeletons. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Alright, once you've killed them all, that door will open. If you uh, stand in the cross formation right here, charge up your sword, 
strike a beam and there you go the staircase that we needed is now there I don't know at this point if I should go back and get the fire rod again or if I even can do that um, I don't know I remember there was something of that matter that I was supposed to do but oh well let's just go ahead and see let's just stand on the swamp wait for it Okay, there you go. Alright, oh, okay, so there's like icicle cubes right here. So I guess this is the perfect item for us right now, the rocks feather. Um, you, the, the icicles will hit you, like some some of them will, like I, I highly doubt you'll be able to avoid all of them. Like, there you go, there's like a, a, a pot right in front of me, so I wasn't able to avoid it. And I just missed out on the force gems. Thank you, good suits. Alright, there you go. Now right here, I'd like to... Right here, actually, if you just go close to the tip of every ledge, the icicles will fall by themselves, and then you can just bypass them all. Now down here, there's actually a room, and this is the room where you need to exchange your rock's feather for um, the ice or the fire rod. Um, you will find four... Force gem thingies. I honestly don't know how, what they're called or how to call them, but they didn't give us 100 except for one. They did. I don't know what they're called, but there it is. We collected 2,000 force gems, and now your sword is filled with power or filled with power and repelled with evil. All right, awesome. And we can actually shoot beams if you have full health. It's kind of like a link to the past, which is really cool. I really like the game Link to the Past. Might be a future LP. Alright, there you go, you can go ahead and exchange your rocks feather for the fire rod because as you can tell, on the top screen right now, or on the main screen, you can see a big icicle frog that's just frozen. It's not a real frog, it's just a frog-shaped icicle thing. And then, yeah, so watch out, you can actually burn these icicles before they fall on the ground, which is a cool thing now. And now just burn that to the ground, awesome. And once you've done that, you'll find more icicles or ice cubes. Go ahead and just. Uh, ooh, crap. Alright, let me just put that away, my phone. Alright. So, right here, what you could. What I'd recommend doing is just sending one link at a time. Because if you try to send them all at once, it's gonna be just like a huge hassle. It's gonna be so many links all cluttered in one corner, which is not good. So if you just go one by one, that door will open, and then actually go back to the purple link, purple rodery of course, and then let him be the command, instead of being green link and then walking the entire pathway. So, uh, looks like we just exchanged the rock's feather once, or the, uh, fire rod for the rock's feather once again. The rock's feather seems to be the main item in this level. Right here, you can pick up that. I'm not unfortunate, and like I said, there will be plenty, so you don't have to worry. Um, in here, what you're gonna want to do is watch out for those rats, because there's actually those are bomb rats. I don't know what they're called to be honest in the Zelda games, but I think this is the first time you'll ever see them in any Zelda game. Um, let's see what's in this room quickly. I believe it's just gonna be like force gems, extra force gems. I don't think there's anything useful or related to the temple. Oh crap! Yeah, it makes it look like you fall. You fall. Oh god. There you go, it makes it look like you fell twice, but I mean, oh my god, seriously? Okay, hit the A button, alright, there you go, oh my god, seriously. It's like the fourth time I said it, what did that do? I just, oh, okay, put staircases, okay. This was just a long way just to get forward, I would have been mad. Because I fell like freaking six times right now. Alright, so. You can actually close that and then use it on your Game Boy screen if you wanted to. But not everybody does that. Alright, so enter into this room right here. You'll find another one of these. It's actually these four, I believe, that you have to hit. Were they? No, those were the wrong ones. The other four. Um, okay, let me just kill these skeletons. Looks like they're just gonna interfere in my way. Come here, skellies. Pure evil. Alright, so stand right there. Alright, there you go. Now, what's in this door? Two pots. And two chests. You get another heart container, and I'm pretty sure 100 force gems. Awesome. So we're up to 2400 right now. 
let's see if we can get the goal up to th we can make it up to 3k that would be nice so looks like we came in through the next exit and right here is actually the beginning of a mini boss i guess so this actually isn't as long as i thought it would be maybe the boss will probably be a bit longer but this is actually i did this rather quick i thought it was gonna take me like 30 minutes to be honest now right there there's jellies you just go ahead and one swipe kill them I'd try to recommend getting like a good kill streak, like without getting hit. That's what I like to call a kill streak. I don't know if it has like a specific name, but I call them kill streak. Okay, that was a perfect one. That was perfect. And come here, thank you. For the kill, you too, thank you. And look at that. Look at all them beautiful force shells. Go ahead and grab them all. You can actually climb. I just recommend getting the big ones, like that one. All the other ones are just like ones, so they're not really worth anything. Especially if you have already 2,000 force gems. Okay, so right here is the, the boss fight. What you're going to want to do... Is this the room? I believe it is, maybe. I think so. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to exchange my uh, thing for the fire rod right now. And then... No, this isn't. I believe it isn't. Okay, let's see what's in here. Um, hmm, pots. Okay, let's pick up this refill on parts. And let's go. Alright, so it looks like you have to burn these. You can actually just tap the A button once and then like a ball of fire will just randomly shoot out. Right here, you're gonna do the same thing. Hit that, and then the staircase will appear on the opposite side. Uh, let's just do a quick check of what's in this room. Pots as well. Pretty sure the bottom room has a uh, fire rod, so that's what they do. So this is the boss room right here. I remember. Basically, if I a huge eyeball, what you have to do is you have to get onto the very top of the room and break the stem. But first, before you do that, is enter into this room right here, and then pick up the rocks feather. Because, like I said, this is the main item of this level, so it's going to be the most used item that you're going to use, of course. Now, how to kill these guys, you're just going to hit them. Whatever you do is just going to regenerate, so don't even bother wasting your time. What you want to do is quickly go in and enter into this room right here, break the pots, and then a little platform right in the middle of the stage will appear, and that platform basically helps you travel around. Um, the thing about these is, like, I... Like, look at that. See how they they come really close to you and they don't even give you a chance to uh, fly, which is something that sucks about them. So you have to like, kill most of them and then do it. Right here is the the stem of the eyeball. You're going to want to hit this. Just keep hitting it. And then once you hit it, yeah, uh, I think, I don't know what you'll get. Oh, you'll get a 204 ships at the very end. But then you're going to have to go quickly just to be able to get the boss before he goes away. And once you kill all of his little baby minions, ooh, once you froze. They can freeze you too, so be careful. Now, you're going to actually for Oh, uh, crap, really? Okay, come on. Alright, no. Please, don't. Come back. Come back here. Okay, um, it looks like he wants us to come up there. Okay, so right here... She doesn't want me to go. Okay, I guess he is. He just wants us to come up there. Alright, so now that we've killed everything, you can go ahead and hit the eyeball itself. And then just ground pound. Do most of that. If you just do that once, like, there you go. He is dead. And that, is, that does it for him. And then he will drop, like, I think, around a thousand. No, no, no. About, like, 700 force gems. In a huge amount. I said I wanted 3,000. I got 4,100, which is ridiculous. They give you a real huge amount of force gems. You know, I'm not complaining. Actually, I think that's really cool. So right here is Princess Zelda herself, because if you see, we saved every single maiden and we collected every single gem. So we have Princess Zelda, the last one. What you're gonna want to do is just break the spells on every single one of these, and after you've broken the spell, voila, Princess Zelda will be saved.
Alright, so Princess Zelda basically said that we need to go to the Realm of Heavens and stop Fatty because a lot of his monsters are overflowing it. The Realm of Heavens is level 8 and that is the final level in the game and I'm really excited. The first level of the Realm of Heavens is actually my favorite level in the game. You guys will see in the next episode of course. So let's go ahead and exit from here. So yeah guys, that pretty much does it. Thank you guys for all for watching and I will see everyone in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.